Breaking. Trump did it again. They are heading to Michigan now. When candidate Donald Trump said we would be winning so much that we were going to get tired of winning he wasn't kidding. Today Fiat Chrysler announced it will immediately be moving production of heavy-duty Ram trucks from Mexico to Michigan. And on top of that paying bonuses to U.S. workers in response to the passage of Trump tax reform late last year and where corporations and the middle class got a huge tax cut and the Obamacare mandate was repealed. Fiat Chrysler went on to confirm they will be investing over $1 billion in its Warren truck assembly plant, a plant that will be used to make the Ram heavy-duty truck starting in late 2020. That truck is currently made in Saltillo, Mexico where workers will continue to make commercial vehicles to sell in the U.S. and international markets. Fiat Chrysler did also confirm that the Warren plant will add 2,500 new jobs to the dying Michigan economy. The car company also plans to pay $2,000 bonuses this spring to about 60,000 hourly and salaried U.S. employees but confirmed senior executives won't getting the bonus. Fiat Chrysler CEO Sergio Martian stated the company had to tweak its manufacturing model in order to keep up with that he lauded as improvement to the U.S. business environment under the current administration. He added that part of this tweak is that employees should also share in the tax savings. Via speaker.gov. Top 3 Conservative Wins in the Tax Plan Last night, the final Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was released following the House-Senate conference that took the best ideas from both plans and made a better, more conservative bill. This is the first major tax reform in a generation. It's hard to choose, but here are the top three conservative wins. 1. It is a major tax cut for hard-working families. Our plan lowers individual tax rates, making sure Americans get to keep more of their hard-earned money. It also nearly doubles the standard deduction meaning that the zero bracket, which the federal government doesn't tax at all, will be expanded to $12,000 for single filers and $24,000 for married couples. Our plan also doubles the child tax credit from $1,000 to $2,000 for each child, bringing relief to folks raising families. What do these updated provisions mean for real people? The average family of four making $73,000 a year will see a tax cut of $2,059. That goes a long way when budgets are tight. It could mean more money to save for children's college, a reserve for an emergency, or a vacation at the beach for a week in the summer. Bottom line, this new tax code eliminates the carve-outs for special interests, prioritizing the American people over the well-connected. Two. It eliminates Obamacare's individual mandate penalty tax. This is the crux of Obamacare. The individual mandate makes it illegal for people not to purchase a health care plan, and the government levies a major fine if people make the choice not to purchase a plan. The individual mandate's purpose is to make young people, who are generally healthier, bear the burden of health care costs in this country. The consequences of the individual mandate are dire especially because Obamacare has driven up the cost of health care across the country, making premiums so expensive that many folks cannot afford health care at all. Therefore, the individual mandate punishes people for making decisions that make the most sense for them and their family. The government has no place in unnecessary, burdensome mandates, and the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act does away with it giving people much-needed relief and flexibility to buy the health care that's right for them if they choose. 3. It opens up part of ANWR for energy development. There is a section of non-wilderness federal land in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge ANWR, located in Alaska, that is known to be abundant in oil reserves. Unfortunately, it has been previously banned for energy development thanks to the insistence of special interests. This ban goes against the petitions of the Alaska delegation, which understands the benefits that oil drilling would bring to the state. If it becomes law, 
The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act will open this area up for energy exploration and development. This would mean more energy developed here at home, instead of relying on other nations for our nation's energy needs. Developing homegrown energy is always preferable, especially because some of these nations are hostile to the United States and our interests. It also means revenue of almost $1 billion in 10 years streaming into the United States Treasury, helping pay for the tax cut that Americans need and deserve. Developing this portion of ANWR also means thousands of good-paying jobs in Alaska and throughout the country. It would give the U.S. economy the boost that comes with major energy development. Can someone please explain to me why the left hates this tax plan so much? It's obvious it works for the middle class and corporations, while at the same time taxing the nuts in Hollywood who believe they should pay more taxes to make themselves feel better about the fact they are just a bunch of elitist overpaid and glorified pretenders. Enders.